Hello everyone, welcome back to Kiran Singh Leisure. In this video, I'm going to teach you Osman University's SEM2 Unit 7. This is Grammar Path Non Finite Verbs. What are these non finite verbs? How do we have to identify non finite verbs? How do we use the non finite verbs in the sentences? Let us understand these three. And also, we have 10 exercises. Let us find non finite verbs in that case. First, let me tell you that these non finite verbs are nothing but they just look like the verbs. Now, let me just give you the table of the verbs here. Okay, so if you go to verbs topic that I had already given you this table. So, verbs are divided into two parts. One is auxiliary verbs, another one is main verbs. In this main verbs, you have four types. One is verb forms, one is regular and irregular forms, next one is transitive and intransitive. Another one is finite, non-finite. Now, what is this finite and non-finite? See, reg verb forms in the sense you have V1, V2, V3, V4, all that. Regular verbs are the ones in V2 and V3, they end in ED. Okay? Irregular verbs, they don't end in ED in V2 and V3. Next, Transitive verbs, intransitive verbs are nothing but they are related to active as passive as case. Transitive verbs you can change into passive as. Intransitive verbs you cannot change into passive as. Next, finite verbs, non-finite verbs are three categories. Okay, one is infinitives. Another one is participles. Final one is gerunds. Okay. Now let me tell you these infinitives, participles, gerunds, they look like verbs. Okay, remember very carefully. See, main verbs are nothing but action verbs. They so they show some action. Okay, they sh show some work. Okay, you take verb forms, regular, regular, transitive, transitive. We come across certain action, certain verbs. Now, coming to this non-finite case, we don't see any actions. They look like the action verbs, but they do not function as the verbs. Instead, they function differently. See, the structure of non-finite verbs is 2 plus V1, 2 plus V2, and another important uh, point that you must remember in this non-finite verbs is non-finite verbs are not used with any subject. They are not used with any subject. For example, I will write one statement here. Try to find out that. For example, I want to become a doctor now if you can uh, see here technically you have uh, you will say sir uh, we have two verbs here okay can you tell me which are the verbs one is want another one is become but tell me in these two which one is related to the subject what is the subject given here subject is i i want or i become which one am i speaking here I want is the subject verb agreement here. This is one part. I want what? I want to become. This part to become is nowhere related to the subject. Okay. This is not speaking about the complete subject verb agreement case. So this is used as the independent one. Okay. This is not connected to the subject. So such type of structures with our 2 plus V1 case and which are not used with the subject they are called as infinitives they are used with this case next next one is participles are nothing but the words which end in ed the words which end in ing 
and they function as adjectives okay the words end in ed the words end in ing and they function as adjectives for example let me say this is a collapsed bridge another one is this is breaking news now i want you to identify which is the verb here and which is the helping verb and other parts here see this bridge here is news now what type of bridge am i speaking here i am speaking about the collapsed bridge now collapsed is nothing but here adjective speaking about the noun coming to the second case this is a news what type of news this is breaking news what am i breaking here that is again adjective now these two words if you can observe these two words one is collapsed using with ed another one is ing using with ing in the textbook you don't have uh, another one even you will come across en also the words which end in en okay they are also used with the uh, as the adjectives now these two words which end in ed and ing they are functioning as the adjectives modifying the noun okay got my point news is here noun but remember they are not actions collapse is not action breaking is also not action i am breaking the glass that is okay there this is adjective but here breaking in this case is only adjective now coming to the next one gerunds gerunds are nothing but the forms which end in ing and they function as noun for example let me write two statements here one is i am swimming another one is swimming is good for health now in these two i want you to find out which is verb and which is not verb see first one i am doing some action what is that action i am swimming okay this is am plus v4 this is action clearly okay next swimming is good for health am i speaking about any action here i am not speaking about any action here swimming is nothing but used as the noun this is the subject of the statement what is good for health swimming is good for health i am not speaking about any action i am only speaking about the noun this is type of nouns are called as gerund nouns which end in ing now going to the exercises here let us look at the first exercise he gave me a pen to write with okay now just like the first case one is he gave another one is to write tell me which is main verb and which is infinitive infinitives 2 plus v1 participles ed or ing functioning as adjective gerunds ing functioning as the noun now in these two tell me which is verb that is related to subject which is not gave is the verb related to the subject and 2 plus v1 2 plus write is not related to the subject so here 2 plus v1 is nothing but this is gerund uh, this is non finite okay next it was a sight to see now if there is no main verb you have to consider helping verb as the main verb now was is related to it here to see is again another infinitive okay next i want to buy see one is want here another one is to buy okay so which one is infinitive which one is main verb i want uh, want is v1 this is main verb related to subject whereas to buy is together one combination this is again infinitive okay 2 plus v1 case next barking dogs do not bite this is very simple here okay this is the case of second rule participles rule what is participle rule some verbs uh, they have ed e and ing and they function as the adjectives okay now look at this carefully dogs is nothing but non form 
what type of dogs am i speaking about i am speaking about barking dogs now what is barking here this is adjective speaking about the type of dogs okay so barking here is what here this is participle okay adjective next she was wearing a designer outfit she was wearing something she was wearing what outfit what type of outfit i am speaking about here she was wearing a designer outfit designer is nothing but adjective okay next i had my car polished i had my car polished what is this i had is already verb here my car polished what is polished can anybody tell me this is not verb here this is functioning as adjective okay my car polished next finding the door open my mother went outside yeah can you tell me which any non finite verb that you can see finding the door open finding is the gerund form of noun here that is used in the beginning my mother went outside okay so this is the non finite verb next nitya is doing her homework at the moment can you find any non finite verbs in this there is no non finite verb in this okay next one the proposal has been examined has been plus v3 this is passive voice verb that is not a non finite verb there is no non finite verb in the ninth one also vardhan has finished as plus v3 is finished his exams can be used as it is no non finite verb so we can find non finite verbs only till seventh one okay till the, that is it right so these are the 10 exercises which we have in this section of non finite verbs and uh, in the next video we'll go through the next topic so before you could leave please do subscribe to the channel if you are a first time viewer and also please do share this video with your friends thank you for watching